Okay, so it's Monday the 7th of September. All right, yeah. Six thirty in the morning. I'm knackered. I've been in three different time zones in the space of five days. Um, and I was up all night talking to Lek and thinking about her birthday present. Oh, I spoke to a few of her friends, one being Jess. And by the way, yeah, I'm on the toilet. It's just comfortable. Jess suggested to do 25 presents. See, she's 25. And off the back of that, I decided to get 25 personal messages from her family members. So last night, I sent all the messages out because of the time difference, hoping that obviously I'll get them all back in time. So I'm just waiting on everyone to send me them. But yeah, basically I'm recording this because she'll be vexed if I don't get the memories on tape. That's so buff. Um, yeah, so this is part one of it, basically, and I'm guessing she'll probably make a YouTube video from it. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. Peace out. Oh, I'm back in the toilet for part two of this video diary. I would do it in the bedroom, but my roommate's still rinsing off Drake. This is about two hours later. Oh. It's just switched to Young Thug. I'm in Guatemala and it's very gangster. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really about that life. Love and not a fighter. Yeah, it's got the fifth highest kill rate in the world. Do you know how big the world is, you know? And it's fifth, like number five. Wait, how do you say five in Spanish? Cinco. We're not allowed at the hotel. Especially because all the people are Mexican looking here and there's no black people. And we've got the game tomorrow, so basically, just pure banana for it. No one won it. Um, with regards to Lex video message that I want to do for her birthday, the only person I'm worried about getting on time is her mum's video. Because obviously her mum's abroad. So. I need it kind of urgently, so I'm kind of panicking about that. And I'd like to get one from my sister as well, which I've left in Paris's hands to obviously speak to Jed, the gangster, which is her dad. Um, and hopefully they can get that to me sooner than later. And then I should have the rest of them in the next two or three days. So that gives me a little bit of time to send them to Chrissy to edit. But yeah, next birthday soon. I know she's gonna cry at the video as well. She's gonna cry bare. But then she's gonna try like, do one of her cheesy jokes to like, pass it off. But then still cry even more. It's gonna be funny. But yeah, I'm gonna finish going for a poo now because that's what I've been doing. And I'm itching up my ankle because I've got bear bites from mosquitoes. But yeah, part two down. I'm out. It's game day. Still very tired, still getting over the jet lag and stuff. Um, but yeah, booked a table at Hacker Sam for Lex's birthday yesterday on the 28th because we're in Scotland until the 26th because obviously I've got a game. So yeah, we'll be in Mayfair going for a meal. That'd be the last of her birthday presents. I put her friend Jess up to the task of finding out an outfit and buy them and surprise her with them before we go out for the meal, which is a bit of a task. And just to say that I owe her for. So yeah, that's just the latest on what's going on. Even though it's the last surprise, um, it's the first one I've done because it's the easiest. The rest I'm still obviously putting in motion. But yeah, it should be a good way to end her birthday week but yeah that's basically it peace right i've been back from international duty for about 10 days now i haven't done any updates but the 411 is i've booked the meal which obviously i've said before um i've ordered two outfits for obviously her to 
pick between, which took me time to decide on them because she's so fussy. But obviously, I'm hoping that they're perfect and she has a struggle picking between the two. I've obviously can't book the holiday yet, which I don't think I've mentioned, but um, obviously I don't have international games in October, but I have an international break, so um, we'll be going away. And where we're going, I leave up to her. So my intentions are to write a little note and just say pick a destination, basically. I think I've got about five days off, so I'm guessing it'll have to be a maximum of like five hours, but obviously that could be Egypt, Turkey, Dubai, somewhere like that. And I think we both need the break. Obviously she's got her, well, her intentions are to have her EP out by the end of the year. I think my role in all of this is not to get involved too much in the music. Obviously I'll say my opinion on if I like something or not, but um, just to keep giving her in inspiration and like ammo to write something different other than, oh, I love him and oh, relationships, this and that. Like I wanted to write about life. So yeah, um, what else? Oh, uh, I ordered her a Calvin Klein set, oh, like a new color, just because obviously I know she likes them and it's just something small, well, something on a smaller scale than the other presents that she will probably get first, just as like a teaser. Ah, I forgot the video messages. I've got every single message so far, plus I added a few more, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, because obviously I intended on having 25 messages. Um, and I think it's a bit over now, but I'm just waiting on um, Jen and Jazz and Alice and Paris has done hers, but I haven't got it yet. Uh, she's about to send it to me today. Uh, Lennon and Shane, I'm waiting for them. So everyone on Lex's side, basically. Um, I have finally finished all of the birthday presents. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know why I'm hyping it because it's the day before I'm supposed to give them to her, but better late than never um got all the video messages including one of her mum and her sister it's a long process obviously relying on other people but i got it done in the end um booked a holiday to marrakesh never been there it's quite hot quite close on like a four hour plane journey um and we're staying at a nice five star hotel i can't remember the name of it but when Lek probably edits all these videos, she put the name of it <laughs> so you can see it um, and some pictures. But yeah, everything's good to go. We leave on the 5th of October until the 9th. So we're there for four nights and then we'll spend two nights back at home in London and then fly back to Scotland with tans. So yeah, just waiting on Chrissy to edit the thing now. Sorry, Chrissy. I gave you everything a day before and put you on a time schedule, but that's what friends are for. So yeah, that's just the last update basically. And obviously I'll do a recording of when Lek opens all her presents just to finish it all off. So yeah, basic, basically that's it peoples. Peace. It's my birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah. I'm a turn up. Let me turn up. Let me play with them. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's his birthday. Come on. Come on. Twerk it for me. Twerk it for me. Twerk it for me. Look, look, twerk, twerk, twerk. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Let them see your face. <laughs> what, what is today? You made my forehead look big. What is today? <laughs> What's today? Your birthday. Answer me now, no. My birthday. Yeah. I'm 18. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah, I don't know this bit. Yeah, do your boobs. Woo! 
Obviously. <laughs> this is how it should be on the catwalk. Yeah. Oh, here's our head. Passengers are reminded to collect all of their baggage <laughs> from the domestic reclaim hall before leaving the area. This is just a little, like, a little something to tide you over. I get awkward with presents, because even if you like it, you're like, mm -hmm. is this too much? Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> <laughs> them buns in it so you see them you're disgusting <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay ready sing happy birthday to me happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to the club happy birthday to you oh <laughs> 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 you're actually the biggest twat <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at the camera, look at the camera. <laughs> look at the resemblance. Fuck off. <laughs> so, basically, we just come out of the shower. It's been a long day. Uh, we travelled back from Scotland this morning and we've been all day at Chrissy's house. Yes, yes, we have. And it's we're moonhead. just to uh, stop. Um, we're about to look at Lex's second present, um, but obviously I, I can't is. record her reaction because she forgot her camera, so she'll just have to do a video explaining how she feels after. Bye. <laughs> How do you feel? I was just, I just, I look brass. I just been crying for the whole video. So, for the camera, could you please explain what your present was? Um, it was a video. Um, no, sorry, it was a like compilation of videos like messages from everyone and some funny shit in between it because obviously Chrissy edited it so it's bound to be jokes um yeah and it was really nice and emotional the whole way <laughs> I was such a tramp <laughs> and there's that FaceTime angle <laughs> you can't do it you'll never I be able to look. do it right we're going to bed now Ciao. Fucking gay boy. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get in there. I'm naked. <laughs> oh, we were looking at this stuff the other day <laughs> online. <laughs> Guest! Happy birthday to me. Okay, so um, uh, just walking in the place now. I don't know where we are. It's really nice though.
say sis through the camera, then you know. He says this about every single place we go. Do the honours. Let's go. What's that on top? Is that sorbet? Such a foodie. If you weren't such a fitty, you'd be a fatty. Isn't it? Me, me, me. So, I'm in the toilets at Hakkasan. I can't say it. This is like the third process or step to my birthday present from Josh. Um, and basically, the first thing was... Um, well, on the day of my actual birthday, he um, actually like made such a huge fuss and um, just was like how he always is, so loving and stuff. But like, I got like dinner made for me, and I had like like came back to like walked into my bedroom, like into our bedroom, being like dark with candles, and um, bathroom was dark and the bath was running there's bubbles candles i got a massage in the bath um and then a massage afterwards it was like proper like so nice and this is like my first boyfriend and my first like ever anything so like it's a big deal um i'm sat in the toilet I'm sat in the toilet right now at hakasan because basically it's a bit like awkward to pull the camera up because they're all just like have you never been to a place like this before like it's quite it's really really nice um so I thought I'd bring it to the the toilet, the girls' room, and even then I had to actually go into a cubicle because there's girls, women, ladies walking in and out like that. And plus them walking in and out and looking at me is throwing me off. Anyway, so the set um so for like two weeks, because we was in we was away from home, so for two weeks he was like planning this thing and he was like, oh um you're not getting your birthday present on your actual birthday because I need it to be back home and I need you to like see everyone and blah blah. So I was like, okay, so um, yeah, so that was that. And I was kind of like, just don't make a fuss. And he was hiding things from me, and normally he can't hide anything. Um, so yeah, so I got home, and then the first day he like <laughs> got me like some like bits and bobs, like some you know, underwear and nice stuff and all that and then um, he got me a birthday cake made and he always calls me Fiona from Shrek so on the cake it had Fiona from Shrek because apparently I look like an ogre that is why my boyfriend loves me uh, um, and then the other gift which was like the next stage which I had to wait and this was the thing that he was like prepping for ages um, was like a birthday card video birthday card but from all like people that care about me and stuff which I'll put ups and show you put ups and show you um, and basically like the biggest surprise on there was obviously like the people that like left a message and said like you know we love you I love you all too and um yeah I was crying the whole time I didn't actually even say much really I just cried and normally I have something to say like oh, you did it. but I just cried and then the surprise was my sister he got in contact with my half sister from Thailand my mum's daughter who I actually grew up with um but didn't see for a long period of time like 12 years even though I grew up with her and um, yeah she did a birthday shout out on there with her kids and stuff and naturally that made me cry and then also my mum who's in Thailand who doesn't live here anymore it's a long story but um yeah it's just very emotional and stuff and my dad everyone left a message and I just want to say thank you I love you all so much then today Josh was like um running around and stuff and we, we had like a nice family day like with his son and stuff and um like our friend's little girl um and but he kept like disappearing and stuff and he was like oh this is really important and so I have to keep changing my arm because it's like when we got home at like half four in the evening he was like oh I need you to put some makeup on well you don't have to but I know you won't want to go like looking as you are because it's to do with like cameras and stuff so we're going somewhere really quickly for five minutes but you might want to just freshen up I was like okay where's my makeup oh shit I left it up our friends who lives like about 20 minutes away half an hour can you just go back to yours and just quickly freshen up because I know you won't want to go looking like how you are even though you look fine 
him knowing me, I, he knew that I'd want to at least freshen up. So I'm thinking we're going somewhere where it includes like a, vi a photo or something. So I'm thinking, oh, okay. I'm like, what do I wear? What are you wearing? He's like, just, just go like smart cash, whatever. I'm going to wear this. This means what? Anyway, so I got home and I'm like stressing and stuff. And I'm literally walking into my house like... I see my um, I see my friend Paris and I'm like, oh, Josh has done this and he's bloody taken my makeup and he's left it here and I've got to do da da da. Anyway, I walk into my bedroom and I couldn't say anything and record it at the time because it wouldn't have been natural because my reaction was before knowing it was there to record so I recorded it afterwards saying nothing. On the bed there's like really nice outfits. This top being one of them from Sabo Skirt. And basically it's so weird because um, about three days before that I was looking on Sabo Skirt and I showed him the exact items he bought me going, oh my god, how nice are these? And he was like, yeah they are. He'd already bought them and ordered them because obviously they come from Australia so really impressed. Like I'm not even guessing like thumbs up boyfriend, that's my boyfriend, that's my boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Also, he vlogged the whole like process so which I'm really proud of because Josh doesn't do that. He's really shy, like, unless he's around me being silly, then blah, blah. <sighs> love you, Josh. I love you. And, um, uh, birthday to me. Mwah. Best birthday present ever, by far. No one can top it. Don't care. Sorry. Yeah. And now, my left.